What's up guys, it's Colin. Today we're working back in the sales department and today it's all gonna be about how to use an aquarium gravel bag. All right, so let's get into it. So you're gonna need a few things. Obviously you're gonna need a aquarium that's ready to go. Um, we're gonna need our gravel bag itself. These do come in several varieties. There's also a variety with a hand pump to start the siphon. And then there's also a Python system, which we'll show a little clip of that here. And the Python system is actually like an automatic water change system that you would hook up to your sink. Those can be very useful for things like really large tanks or an aquarium that's really far away from your water access point. But today we're gonna to show you how to use the basic gravel vac. So there's two components. There's the main suction vacuum portion, and then there's the drainage hose. Inside here in this little cap, there's a one-way valve, and that's how it starts the siphon basically to prevent the water from going back into the tank. So when you do a gravel vac, we're gonna unwind our length of tubing. This is made of a really soft vinyl um, half-inch tubing. We're gonna set the vinyl in our bucket, and then we're gonna come here. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fill it all the way with water, then we're gonna move it up slightly to start our siphon. And as you can see in the bottom, our siphon's fully going. And this, and this is the way you do it without sucking on the hose so you don't get dirty fish water in your mouth. And then when we come in here, we're just gonna lightly press. And these tanks were just recently cleaned so there's not a ton of debris, but you'll see all the little debris and things like that being lifted off. And then we just wanna move periodically around. You'll see some of that more debris coming up. And this is not only gonna help uh, take out any dirt or detritus, but also as a secondary effect, by cleaning this way, it's gonna help to remove our nitrates. So all that uneaten waste and fish poop in the bottom of the tank is gonna get sucked right up in our gravel vac. And a way you can stop this, if you have a small tank, so if you wanna stop the flow, you just pinch and it reduces the flow. This way you're not sucking out the majority of the water in your tank, especially if you have a small tank like a 10 gallon tank. You're definitely gonna to wanna to pinch in between your rounds. And then when you're ready, open her back up and flow begins immediately. And when you're done, you simply remove the siphon. And I like to just hold the tube up. All the water will gravity drain back into the bucket. And then you're good to go. So one more tip for you guys, if you have a sandy bottom tank or a planted tank, when you come in with your gravel vac, I definitely recommend lightly hovering over the bottom of the substrate. This way we're gonna get any active detritus, but we're gonna take up as minimal substrate as possible. Inadvertently, when you do have a sand bottom aquarium, you do inevitably uh, end up sucking some of that sand out, but by hovering lightly and you know pinching off the tube, we can kind of mitigate any excessive substrate loss. So this is our uh, automatic water changer. Uh, the industry name is like a Python system, but what this does, it actually hooks up directly to your sink. So as long as you have a standard kitchen sink or a bathroom sink where you can get uh, to a water source, and then uh, you have a 25 foot hose, and you have two valves. So basically, to start the siphon on this particular unit, you'll run your sink and turn the valve one way. That'll cause suction. It'll basically automatically start to drain water into your sink instead of having to deal with a bucket. Um, you can also use this on an external hose outside your home or whatever if your tank is close enough. Um, and this one uh, includes a 25 foot hose, so it works decently far away. They also do make extension kits for these. You can get them up to 50 feet, 75 feet. Um, if you have a tank that's really far away from your water source. But if you do a lot of water changes or if you have multiple tanks, this is definitely a great option for you.